Regular viewers will know that I have a Fitbit, some kind of fitness tracking measurement type thing. And one of the things you can do on a Fitbit is a thing called a work week hustle. That's basically you compete with your friends to see who does the most steps between Monday and Friday. Now this week I'm in two work week hustles. One with my wife and her friends. And if I'm totally honest, I think I'm going to top that one quite easily. Nothing disrespectful to them, it's just that I'm training for a marathon and they're not. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to win that one. Now the other one is going to be tougher. This one's with my friends that I go running with and do marathons and things like that with. So they're going to be doing some training and stuff. It's going to be a lot tougher. Now I've taken it fairly easy the first day to see how people are spreading out and how it's going. And after day one, my friend Mike is well ahead at the top. So I've been doing a lot of walking today to try and catch up with him. So far, I'm on 28,000 steps for the day, which is quite a lot. Now I've done a few of these in the past and there's various tactics people employ to win these and not just taking more steps. With our running gang, our work week hustles go on several months and you get points depending on where you finish each week. Four for a win, three for second place, second if you come third, and one if you come last. There are various psychological tricks that people use. Some people like to start very strong on a Monday, hoping that other people will just give up and not try to keep up with them. Then they can take the foot off the gas later on in the week. Others will lull others into a false sense of security when they're not thinking, pounce. Some less scrupulous individuals in the group, who I'm not going to publicly name, will occasionally not sync their Fitbits and keep it secret from the rest of the group so people don't know how many steps they've done. Pretty disgusting behaviour if you ask me, but that kind of stuff, when it really gets going towards the end, is what makes Work Week Hustle such an incredible spectator sport. Now currently I'm about 2,000 steps behind my friend Mike, who's the current leader, but it's a crucial time now. It's getting towards the end of the day. I've finished my steps really because I've finished work quite early and I won't be moving around for the rest of the evening. Mike might have a run home, I don't know. That could easily put 10,000 more steps on the board. So we're going to see how it looks in the morning and hopefully he'll sink in and not be, you know, one of those guys. It's going to be a dramatic end to the week, but stay tuned and find out if I'm physically and mentally tough enough to take this title. Let's get walking. <laughs>